Hello YouTube viewers, here we have another Hunter original. This one is an adapter. You can tell on the brackets. And this one came off the isolation ring. Uh, I never really was fond of these, so I just took it off because it's not really necessary. Um, so it's kind of cool it came with one. I'm not sure if I'll ever use it for anything, but I have it. Uh, long story for the same. I went there and originally picked it up because it was on Craigslist for 25 I was on a bike from the uh, guy selling it. Uh, I got there, he, we needed to take it down, so I helped him take it down. Um, I started talking to him as an electrician. Well, I'm working on becoming an electrician, and he was like, Oh, really? So could you uh, help me get the uh, help him get the new fan installed? So I was like, Sure, I'll see what I can do. And he had this white hugger fan that I don't know where it came from. It had no brand label on it or anything. So I thought, Okay, that's kind of weird. But either way, um, what we ended up doing is the label, by the way. What we ended up doing was we tried getting it up, it went flush to the ceiling, so we had to redraw holes. The holes, it was flush to the ceiling, but the housing was hitting the motor, so we tried making the motor. Long story short, it was a cheap fan, it didn't want to stay up there, so we had another fan that he asked to install. Uh, put a down rod, so. We ended up putting that fan up, and I helped him the entire time talking with him. And after that, uh, basically, with me helping him, probably for a good, I want to say, a good two hours, I got this for free because he was uh, just appreciate all the help I did, and seeing that I was willing to help him because he had a broken finger, and I felt bad for him because I've been there. That, that just sucks. Um, either way, long story short, I got this fan for free. Uh, it had no oil in it. When I first got it, I thought it was a two-speed with two offs, so that's like someone had to replace the pull chain. Um, that was not the case. I put oil in it. It is a three-speed fan with one off, just it had no oil in it. So, uh, luckily it's quiet. Uh, the bearings are saved. Uh, it needs to be cleaned still. As you can tell, there's a lot of dust up there. I'll probably clean this one when I clean the other original I have down there. I already made a video of that one. It's not the longer down rod. Either way, without further ado, let's go ahead and start off with low. So, high, medium, low. Uh, I've heard dates. Uh, people think it's an 8, 1984 original. That sounds right because they said the house was built in 1984, 5, something like that. So, it sounds right. But I don't know. Yeah, that's low speed. Let's go ahead and off oh, my medium. Now I said that I found me a smaller connection for the air hose that way I can get a blast blast the dust out of the motor. Definitely already giving a good breeze compared to most residential fans on medium, as all hunters do. And high. Go ahead and go to high speed. And of course it takes off immediately. Blows a great amount of air. Go ahead and get a shot from back here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this one, I think I might keep this one. I'm Really liking it. I like the story that goes with it since I helped the first, the guys who got this with their new fan stall. Now this is my first three speed three speed hunter. Besides the newer Chinese one, this is an old shaded pull motor and it has three speeds, so I found that kind of cool. Uh, either way, we're gonna do a spin down. It hasn't been running with oil for a little, probably for maybe half an hour, so it's still probably gonna have a pretty quick spin down. Um, but it does run silent. And everything over here because I haven't seen this garage out yet. I got the trailer out, but that's it.
actually had the fire gas from there. Which is a little already uh, taking effect. Okay, so definitely need to buy more zoom fountain down to maybe an eighth of a bottle, a quarter of a bottle, so I'm pretty close to finishing it. Oh, there's oil already coming in. It's still got good bearings, so that's encouraging. And there we go. Thanks for watching.